Hi, I'm Steph, and I'll be reading from Mark today, chapter 16, verse 1 to 8. The next evening, when the Sabbath ended, Mary Magdalene and Salome and Mary the mother of James went out and purchased burial spices to put on Jesus' body. Very early on Sunday morning, just at sunrise, they came to the tomb. On the way there, they were discussing who would roll the stone away from the entrance to the tomb. But when they arrived, they looked up and saw the stone, a very large one, had already been rolled aside. So they entered the tomb, and there on the right sat a young man clothed in a white robe. The women were startled, but the angel said, Do not be so surprised. You are looking for Jesus, the Nazarene who was crucified. He isn't here. He has been raised from the dead. Look, this is where they laid his body. Now go and give this message to his disciples, including Peter. Jesus is going ahead of you to Galilee. You will see him there, just as he told you before he died. The women fled from the tomb, trembling and bewildered, saying nothing to anyone because they were too frightened to speak. This is what Isaiah 55 verses 1 to 13 says. Come, all you who are thirsty, come to the waters, and you who have no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money and without costs. Why spend money on what is not bread? And you labor on what does not satisfy. Listen, listen to me and eat what is good. And you will delight in the riches of fear. Give ear and come to me. Listen, that you may live. I will make an everlasting covenant with you. My faithful law promised to David. See, I had made him a witness to the people a ruler and commander of the peoples. Surely you will sound nations you know not, and nations you do not know will come running to you because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for He has endowed you with splendor. Seek the Lord while He may be found. Call on Him while He is near. Let the wicked forsake their ways, and the outrageous their thoughts, let them turn to the Lord, and he will have mercy on them, and to our God, for he will freely pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. As the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return to it without watering the earth and making it bud and flourish so that it yields seed for the sour and bread for the eater. So is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I send it. You will go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and hills will burst into song before you, and all the trees in the field will clap their hands. Instead of the thornbush will grow the juniper. Instead of the bears, the myrtle will grow. This will be for the Lord's renown, for an everlasting sign that will endure forever.